catalog volume four which is a bet wait oh wait we accidentally pushed up four it should be three three point three three i was trying to figure out um uh, which ones to go first because there's some extras that i had to pull and upload privately because it also ties in because these are audio there's audio files that are attached to this series from a site as well oh, okay yeah that's gonna be a pain in the ass but i'm gonna figure this shit out Hey everyone, welcome to Badlands Chugs, and today Hell uh, yeah. I'm joking. Nope. Come on, let's react. Let's react to him. It'd be funny. No, shut up. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm dead not. serious too. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, we're in Mandela County, Wisconsin. I bet this thing has closed captions, don't you? Playback quality. Shh, it's okay. It's okay. What's wrong, honey? Everything's gonna be okay. There's no need to cry. I believe it. Hey. Hey, what's up? You started crying again. At the same time, I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I, I I just don't know how to help you anymore. Are you Bro. absolutely sure it's not you know, that? Wow. No, Already, father of the year. Not, I fucking I've hate him. For weeks now. I mean, I guess I can come over and help you figure it out. Oh. Are you free tomorrow? Justifiable. Night? Tomorrow night. You promise you'll actually come over this time. He's still your child too, you know. I swear to God, Lynn, if this is just an imaginary friend or something, I'm gonna lose it. What do you mean? Do you realize how young he is? I think that there'll be so, he'll be so overpopulated that there'll be war. All nuclear explosions and everything. Oh! So I just tend to today's chores? And let the good Lord worry about tomorrow. Good Lord gonna worry about next week. Get out of here. Stop praying, boy. Better start running, boy. We'll always have Paris. Speed hundreds of telephone calls. Jesus as well as television Christ. programs. Audio mixing is my passion. Yeah. Alex is still trying to hone his craft at this point, I believe. 3-3, three, three, huh? Yep. If memory hmm. serves me, three threes in a row means pretty crucial in Christianity, I believe, and superstition. Oh boy, rainbow Nothing bars. Lightning. Whoa. Up, to say the least. I learned a lot about myself, and I hope my colleagues in this room have learned just as much about me as well. I will never stand down for my base values, no matter how far up the ladder I go. While I may not be the most um, bespoken type, I protect and serve my city with pride, and I'm grateful to be rewarded as such. Thank you all. Damn. God, it's one of Gonzo's scam calls. Good evening, officer. Uh, one of our students, Mark Heathcliff, uh, he's been absent for the past couple days without any reason, no phone calls from parents, no doctor's excuse, and we don't have any apparent emergency contacts on file for him. If you could have someone pay a visit to um, uh, the three... Oh, it cuts off? Make sure uh, to right. keep the uh, be much address anonymous. Oh, and oh, I if gotcha. someone could try to get the contact info for whoever answers the door, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you, and have a nice night. What they're asking for is essentially a wellness check, I believe, which I ended up yep. having to do uh, earlier last month. Yep, a wellness That's... check. Yeah. Unfortunately... Basically... 
if the if you haven't seen Heidi nor hair of somebody in a few days, you can call the police to do a wellness check instead of doing a missing person search. And you could do it through their non-emergency number just to be on the safe side. I ended up having to do that. Also, yeah, Mark Heathcliff, one of the early victims. Sheriff's Department, open up. I bet there's nobody home. Police, open the door. Yeah, if you remember from the first volume, Ark's dead. Yep. So I guess he kicked down the door since nobody answered. Yep. And now he's inside the house, and I bet he's going to wish he wasn't. <laughs> Oh look, there's a famous trademark TV. And there's his oh. body. Jesus Christ. Or Mark. He made a bad decision. Oh, oh yeah, he shot himself, didn't he? From the way it looks, yeah. Yeah, because these entities don't actually, like, murder you. They, like, drive you to suicide, don't they? Yeah, I believe... Was that the series? Yeah, I, said, but I believe so. Okay. Like, they can't actually cause you physical harm, I don't think. But they drive you mad. Yep. They just fucking... Well, this wellness check is over. That man's clearly dead. Oh, hey, a free tape recorder. This might mean evidence. Boys at the station will never believe this. Like you just got promoted, right? You don't have to work on this bullshit case anymore. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that intruder was still in the house. Okay. Got some evidence to review still. That's it. I'll believe just it living with a dead body? That's creepy. See you later. Alright. Lock the door on the way out. I mean, if somebody has to visit the house, future victims. Exactly. So, but evidently he didn't encounter anything because he went back to the police station. So, this was the last person from Volume 1 that was supposedly the alternate. Or oh, at so, least. The so the alternates leave behind fingerprints, do they? And it, mim and it matches the person that they've taken on, from the way it seems. That yeah, first person like was Caesar, who called Mark in, first, in the Volume 1 and lured him into the house. Yeah, because they can become, like, imperfect replicas of people if they've interacted with them long enough, right? Yeah. But they have to kill you in order to take your form, I think. So they, like, drive you mad to take your body. So it's like, if there's an alternate walking around to somebody, odds are that person is dead. And their whole goal is to claim more victims so they can create more alternates, I think. Shadow under the door. Yeah. And the first to... Uh... And they watch it. That's how you get cursed. See, with the fact that the entities can actually come in through TVs, I actually do wonder if any recorded media of them is actually, like, cursed or afflicted. I mean... Like, that the entities can manifest through recorded instances of themselves. Like, you know, which like, one was it? The Ring or the Grudge? The yeah. Grudge that was on Cursed Video Tape. I think it was The Ring. Yeah. Or Seven or Days. Being, yeah. Or if we're... Yeah. Or if we're being a little nerdier, like how it works with Weeping Angels when they are, like, on camera. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Doctor Who. Open the door. No. I am not going away. Yeah. 
yeah, but they're kind of imperfect. Okay. Yeah, because they can't, like, replicate your voice one-to-one. -one. Especially when they decided to get a little corrupted. Don't you be nervous about the time? You have loads of time. Let's see. I don't know if alternates can attack people. Um... Maybe it was just the fact that I didn't get it the first time around, but I don't actually know what the powers of these entities are beyond driving people mad and pushing them to suicide. Item exhibition. Like, I know they become alternates, but to what end? Is that just to torment their victims further? I don't know. God loves me unconditionally. Always remember that no matter the circumstance, God loves all of us simply because he has chosen to do so. He loves me when no one else loves me. I am at peace. I guess that was a suicide note. The, the, the notebook said reassurances, so I'm guessing it's just... A little coping mechanism. He tried to fight the urge to take his own life. Today is a day that I need God's love more than anything. I am alone and need to feel the warmth of his love and reassurance. Oh, Creepy. Our writing is about to get even more creepier. In fact, one guy who analyzed this has found what's going to be popping up to be the most scariest he has ever seen. My lord, I'm afraid. I beg for your love and protection against evil. That's not it, but I think it's a little next one or next two. It's getting, it's going to get progressively worse as he descends into madness. There. I have no choice anymore. The cops never came for me. Nobody came for me. Whatever, whoever is reading this, please stop it before it does this to anyone else. And this oh. is the scary thing that one YouTuber says scares him more than anything. Uh -huh. Who... Have I been praying to all this time? And the terrifying reality of this situation is that we, the viewer, have known from the start. God himself, the very angel who Mark was praying to, has been an alternate the whole time. And we knew this from the first episode of the entire series. From the moment Mark started writing in his journal, we at this point in the series knew what was coming, and it made the moment where his writing devolved into ramblings all the more disturbing. Okay, wow. That has a lot of effect. Yeah. And when you go to the next slide, you can even see the desperation at full fucking force. My eyes are wide open. Okay. And then nothing. I guess that's after he takes his own life. Caesar Torres may explain in human features an alternate report. Camera. Yeah, because one, one thing that's unique to this county is we've actually seen like public service announcements where they acknowledge the existence of alternates. So these things are like common here, I guess. We are currently receiving countless reports regarding unidentified hostile organisms that we will refer to as alternates. Ah, Adam Murray from the second volume. And a Mr. Davis, Mandela Tech Daily. I, I don't know. Right. Mr. Davis, I understand that you were hoping that I would be able to recover the contents of all of the tapes that you sent in, along with your request note. I was only able to recover maybe about two minutes from one of them. I'll be copying my recording of it onto this one right after this. I, I mean, I hope this helps you with the rest of your investigation. If you need any more help, you can call me back or just send me another letter and I'll be waiting a response.
Oh, right. That's right. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis is investigating this, right? I forgot. In the, me in the meantime, I'll be eating a toasted bacon sandwich with extra mayonnaise. Okay. The Night of the Subconscious. Oh, what a lovely face. Hello. Creepy. Can you hear me? Hello. I can I hear you. Oh. oh. Hello. Now, you may be thinking, who is this voice speaking to me through my television set? Well, let me introduce myself. My name is Stanley. It is very nice to meet you. If your last name is not Ipkiss, I'm not interested. Because I might consider you one, too. I like having friends. How many friends do you have? That's great. Would you like to know a secret of mine? This is a really fucked up I version of, uh... Out of thin air. Similar to this one puppet what show that? that I believe was done by the Jim you Henson Company. How? I'll put it in post. Well, I can tell you. But you have to promise me that I am one of your friends first. Were you thinking of face from Nick Jr.? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like a really I'm fucked up version of face from Nick Jr. What are they right. Like? I forgot about that. What do they look like? I feel like this guy what makes alternates. Always remember the most important rule. If there is a new friend that lives in your head, it is best to put it is best to put it is best. They're just as scared as you are. Okay. Have a friend in mind? Great. I think it's time to meet your new friend. Now just close your eyes and think really hard about your new friend. Can you keep an even bigger secret? Uh oh. I think it worked. Your new friend is somewhere in your house. Oh boy. Now it's up to you to go and find him. Uh huh. I think that entity makes alternates. That's your Davis. Or just intruders. 911, what's your emergency? Please. You gotta help me. There's no one in my house. I don't know what to do. I don't even know if they got inside. I cut my doors and we those locked for mine. Alright, All right, just, just calm down, okay? We'll get this figured out. Just need to stay quiet. Are you hiding? Yes. Does this person have a weapon? I don't know. I can't tell. Is this person threatening you or your family? No, he just... Stairs in the corner. He's standing here. <laughs> Menacingly. SpongeBob! Wee 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 wee! I don't know what to do. gonna be fine. You need to calm down. I'm looking at his face again. Okay. All right. Um, does this man resemble anyone you know by chance? No. What? I have never seen anyone in my life that looks anything like him. It can't be right. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm sending over one of our officers. Just don't hang up, okay? I just got a 1015. I'm heading over to the place now. Damn it. Okay. Um. So. What? Did you get a similar call? Police once again acknowledging that they're aware of more than they're letting on. I apologize for the silence, sir. What's your address? Sir? It's too late. I'm gonna need some backup here. What are you talking about? Where's the others? The officer that was already checking out the place just pussied out. Jesus. Hey, um... Bruce, what's the address? He's coming. Well... I believe that's the screen of one of the uh, other nameless murder victims. And it's it's just pictures of the same hallway over and over again.
another thing that just came out of the automated camera setup. We'll need to resort to in home inspection with Weaver as soon as possible. Investigation log date number two, Lieutenant Thatcher Davis. All right, body cam footage. Makes me wonder if they animate these scenes in Blender or if they actually have areas where they record the videos. Maybe both. I want to say yeah. I personally think it's Blender, but it looks really good. Yeah. What? Okay, it's the TV. No, Weaver, we don't because everyone else fucking left. Sorry. Got 1056. Send this fucking Thanks for camera. Shit. Camera's down, Weaver. Weaver. Yeah, I think it's still in the house. Hello? You're not alone, sir. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. It's mimicking him. This is a police investigation. I need you to identify yourself. Oh. Look. It's like that one SCP. Which one? That's the vibe this has. It's a lizard one that like copies the last few seconds of someone's life. That's it. Oh, yeah, it, like, uses their voice to lure in other people. What do you want? Oh, so like nature's mimicry from Gemini. Hello? Hello, somebody! There's a monster in the movie Annihilation that does that. Oh, it's coming towards him. I thought it was dancing. Me running oh, to know, the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I am. It was hitting the gritty while running to the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we see something moving. And whispers. That must be an alternate. Okay, you can see an arm. Fuck! Ruth, if you're still in there, I'm gonna find help, okay? Just meet me at the station. So it's a death wish to still be in the house while those things are there. <laughs> you know, the fact that it was like calmly singing Amazing Grace actually made it creepier. 1078, requesting backup. That you just see that arm round around the corner. It's like, what the fuck is this thing? Requesting backup. requesting assistance from available Bythorn units. This is an unauthorized use of Earth's normal. Identify yourself. Lieutenant Thatcher Davis, MCPD. I bet it's not Thatcher. 1018, requesting assistance from available workshop units. I well, bet that's not Thatcher. That's... Well, it is Thatcher, but... I don't think not he's really. alone.
Somehow they've managed to make choirs creepy. Well, a whole lot creepier than uh, Jesus loves me from, uh, what was it, Overthrown? Yeah, I think so. Is it coming to the police station? It's coming to the police station. <laughs> Adventurous, are we, Alex? Oh, it can fly towards you, apparently. <laughs> Bad decision, Thatcher! So attacking these things is not advised. Okay. <laughs> That's the we first gotta... oh. super close look we get at these things. Oh. <laughs> you shoot it and it can attack you, I bet. There's not enough room for the two of us, Lieutenant. So there's something about attacking it that is not a good idea. Doesn't it wants, seem to work. It wants you to attack it, though. Yeah. I wonder if it makes them stronger. Gets a Zenkai or if, boost. Yeah. Or if Zenkai. maybe they can, or if maybe they can only hurt you if you hurt them first. So the self-defense. Uh. Or it mimics the attack you put upon it. Ooh, that was on my happens. property. That's probably the first, like, real hard-ass look we've gotten at these things, and now we can understand why people are scared to shit of them. Ah, Stanley was, yeah, inspired by Jim Henson's Limbo, the organized mind. Hmm. And Remy Abode was also helping in this too. They're uh, Gem I think Gemini Home Entertainment. I gotta say, this series has come a long way from where it started. It's finally actually getting good. Like, suspenseful even. And there's that sense of mystery I really like when it comes to analog horrors. There's always this Christ symbolism involved. I'm sure that was nothing. <laughs> I think um, a friend once uh, proposed to me, like, the theory in this universe that this is, like, a reality. Alternates are, like, what we think of when it comes to uh, demons in this universe, I think. Mm -hmm. And in particular, this is a really dark timeline where an alternate impersonated Jesus and basically forever locked him out of heaven. Which would explain, like, the creepy biblical shit where Jesus, like, breaks into a weird smile. Or that the was angel a Gabriel. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, the that was Gabriel. Gabriel. So, like, I guess the idea is that, like, alternates either impersonated the angels and, like, tricked everybody. I don't know. There's still, like, a lot about this I don't understand. But the one thing I do understand is the Man Mandela Catalog universe is a very... Very dark universe, because there's not a lot you can do in terms of these things. But if Goku was there... <laughs> what if Goku was there? <laughs> well, I, I mean, I think it can... Uh, if a Kamehameha doesn't work against these things, I don't know what will. 
Yeah, but Goku's friends believe in him, so... Nothing short of, like, nuking Mandela County or whatever would probably uh, destroy these things. Probably. All right, next one. Every day gets brighter. And there's also a bunch of these tapes that I want to show off before the next volume anyway. So let's get those. First up. Let's see what this is. Thoughts about the ordeal. Stop till they've taken everything. Everything I loved. Everything I cared about is gone. I'm scared. But I can't show it. I can't show any fucking weakness, because if I act human, if I act like this is fucking bothering me, they're going to lose hope. Everyone's going to blame me for this. Everyone doesn't know what to do. No one knows what to do. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I can't be the man everyone wants me to be. I'm tired. I feel like I haven't slept in so long. And nobody knows what we're doing. And all these missing people, you know, they blame us for not finding them, but we don't know where the fuck they went. <laughs> they don't realize that we're in the same fucking boat as they are. That thing took something from me. Okay, so you get imperfect uh, alternates, but some of them can actually create perfect copies of you. I, f I think I remember uh, that being talked about. And I guess Thatcher now has one of these things walking around as a perfect copy of him. This thing's terrifying. Home thinking it's your like loving wife or husband, significant other, and creepy creature repeating phrases that basically are nonsense. Oh. God. And then they do like that fucking weird ass creepy smile. Hello. Their voice like fucking distorts and morphs randomly. Ugh. Sounds like it's coming through TV static. Dude. Maybe this one before the because there was a bunch of interviews. Uh, somebody I, I guess Alex also put up a site where you had to be able to hack in and get a bunch Whoa. of extra shit uh, that's also tied into the Manila catalog as well. I wonder if this is it or not. If I have to play it after this or before this, but let's we'll see. I probably am getting this shit out of order, so I apologize in advance. Can you speak up? <laughs> Clearly it's saying something. It's muffled through the building. And I got no fucking closed captioning on fucking on the fucking player, so. Here, here, here. Bunch I'm of sure numbers. some sleuth out there has deciphered this already. So there are numbers based on the year. This could be the number of victims claimed, but that's like a lot of people that died of these things. By its own paranormal society.
Everybody loves Windows Movie Maker. Ah, the te Department of Temporal Phenomena. Temporal Phenomena? The Temporal Shrimp Phenomena. <laughs> the government made a response to these things. It's just a bunch of shrimp, dude. <laughs> yep. Tempora, get it right. It would be cool if there was like a United States Department of the Occult, though. I mean, it'd be creepy as shit, but that'd be kind of awesome. In like, the imagine... beginning. You have government angels that are warlocks fighting demons or some shit. That'd be a badass story premise. Uh, oh, a timeline. Flawed assimilation. Oh, I see. Wait, assimilation? I think I forgot to save whoever that guy was. Complete assimilation. Okay. They have to brighten up the photos. So they don't just replicate, they seek to assimilate the people they replicate. Ugh. Overdriven. Oh, we've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, they popped up in, I believe, two. Okay. She's a messenger. She just has a little sodium. In I I made oatmeal cookies. It's a nun. Oh. The nun made oatmeal cookies. So what? That's none of your business. <laughs>